and we are live. Good evening, good evening, everybody. Welcome to this webinar series. Um, who's watching right now with me? Let's see. So, wait, my feedback. Okay, let's see who's here. So, this is the Getting Started with Freelancing um, Fast Track to Freelancing webinar series. It's a four-part series. And later, I will discuss ano yung mga matututunan ninyo sa four-part series na ito. So, sino ang nandito ngayon with me? It seems like a lot of people are here already. Good evening, Jason. Good evening, Janice Kell. Good evening, Jerome. Good evening, Maria. Where are you watching from? Um, is there anybody watching from abroad, from the province? Good evening. Greetings from Manila. I see Jules, a top fan. Wow. From Imo, si Maria Jessa. Welcome to this webinar. I'm so glad you are here, guys. So tonight is um, day one of the Fast Track to Freelancing webinar series. Um, today, you will uh, learn a lot about the basics of freelancing. So, doon sa mga nag-wonder pa din, paano ba talaga magsisimula sa freelancing? This is now your chance to learn. So, if you've been wondering how, how po, ito na yung webinar na sasagot dun sa tanong mo. Okay, so, watching from Hong Kong, si Marietti, Marietti, Ayan, si Apple, um, new student here. Welcome, Apple. Okay, so um, let me share with you my, um, my screen. So before we actually start, I would like to ask everyone, why are you here? So I'm sure, I'm sure that um, nung nakita nyo tong uh, webinar na to sa events, like, you, you saw the title, Getting Started with Freelancing. Now, can you please share with everybody why you are here with us tonight? Comment sa, uh, uh, can you comment it in our um, Facebook Live? Hi, sis Isa. <laughs> Hello. So, I want to see the comments. Okay. Sige. While everybody's typing pa, mukhang um, excited ang lahat. Parang nararamdaman ko yung energy ninyo. Even from here, I'm here in Mandaluyong, somewhere from um, Hong Kong, Pangasinan, Imus. I'm really excited to start this um, Fast Track to Freelancing for you. Ayan. So, ano bang makukuha ninyo dito sa Fast Track to Freelancing series? One, um, if you attend all four webinar series, you will get the freelancing toolkit for free. So what's inside the freelancing toolkit? Um, it's a getting started checklist. Everything that you need to know to get started sa freelancing, how to work from home, and the pros and cons of online freelancing. Also, you will get the summary of this four-week training, yung buong training nito. So I will share with you the schedule later on. So mark your calendars. Um, kung ano ba, ano ano ba yung mga dates na kailangan ninyong abangan para makompleto nyo tong series na to. Okay. So what else are you getting from this webinar? You will also get a certificate of completion. So this is a free certificate for everybody na complete yung webinar series. Okay, so it's free. You don't have to pay for this along with the freelancing toolkit as long as you complete all the four webinars. So how do you, how do we know na mag attend kayo sa lahat ng webinars? Um, we do have an attendance sheet. Later at the end of this webinar, you would have to fill out that, um, that attendance sheet. Okay, so sa mga nanonood ngayon, please share this video so you can invite your friends to attend this webinar as well and tag your friends sa comment section. Okay, and so I want to ask you as well, what do you expect after this four-week training? Yeah, 
let me just see. Um, tingnan ko yung mga comments niyo. So I'm reading the comments from my phone. Let's see, let's see. Um, okay naman ba yung audio ko, guys? Parang wala ko nakikita ang mga comments. Wait. Ayan. So, okay. I can see now the comments. I want to learn how to become a VA. Sabi ni Tin. So much to learn from this community. Sabi ni Maris. Yes. Hi, Maris. I'm happy you're here. All right. So, what do you expect to learn? Maybe um, to start freelancing. Sabi ni Rosh. Okay. See Charmaine, she's inviting Sherry. Let's watch. Okay. Welcome, Sherry, if you're here already. All right. So, okay lang naman audio. Okay, so here are the schedules for this webinar series. We started today, Thursday, March 21, 7 p.m. And um, it's one-hour webinar. And then we will have the second part on March 28th. It's also a Thursday. It's at 7 p.m. The third part is on April 4, and then fourth, the last one will be on April 11. So mark your calendars, and um, uh, kalimutan mo na ibang mga ginagagawin for that day. Attend this webinar series if you're really serious into um, pursuing freelancing. Ayan. And um, what's in it for you, Bob? What are you going to learn? Week one, it's the intro to online freelancing. That's tonight. Week two, we will discuss the skills that you can offer when you're working from home. And then week three is um, about how to get your first client even without experience. So even wala ka pang portfolio or um, any work sample to show, let's, um, we will discuss how you could get your first client. And then week number four, we will discuss how to handle client interviews. Para ready ka kapag na, nakatanggap ka ng um, invitation uh, for interview. Ayan. May pasok. Sana 8 p.m. Joffrey, um, as long as you attend the replay and you um, fill out the attendance sheet, then you will get the certificate and the freebies. So, ayan. Okay, so... Can those who aren't able to attend this webinar still can play a replay of this one? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, they can. And they just have to um, at, um, fill out the attendance sheet. Ayan. Yeah. Okay. Okay, dokie. So what are we going to discuss? Um, so week one. Okay. So it's not here, but we are going to discuss, I think, Nabura ko yung slide na yon, but week one is about what is online freelancing and um, what's the difference between offline and online freelancing and the pros and cons. Okay, so week two, this is gonna be the. Let me just make this full screen para mas easier. Oops. Oops, not, not this one. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Play from current slide. Ayan. So week two, discover the skills you can offer. So we will discuss what is this niche we keep hearing about. Niche or niche. Niche. iba, -iba yung pronunciation. Pero yung niche is um, yung skill sa online freelancing world. So we will discuss that on week two. Also, the skills that you can offer to your clients. And how much should you charge? Clients, ano ba yung magandang starting pay? And how do you increase your rates along the way? And what if you're not techie? Paano ka mag-freelance? And then how to build your online profile even if you have no experience. Okay, so sana ito na yung hinahanap ko na work while being a mom at home with my nine-month-old baby from the cell. Um, the cell, we have so many work at home moms and they're really happy with their current um, career. So maybe, yeah, maybe this is the career that you're looking for. Where to sign the attendance sheet? Later on, Maurice, you will have it at the end of this webinar. So you have to attend until the end. You have to watch the whole webinars. 
um, video tonight. Okay, so week three. How to get a client even without experience? Ito yun naman yung pa, saan mo mahanap yung online jobs? What are the platforms that you can use? Is it really getting competitive online now? Um, sobrang dami na ng freelancers, sabi ng iba. So, paano naman ako? Makakahanap pa ba ako ng client? So, we will answer that on, uh, on week three. And then, how to create a profile that stands out. So, even if sobrang dami na ng uh, freelancers, sabi nila, um, you can still stand out. So, there's a way to do that. And um, how to write a cover letter. So, cover letter is yung application, parang application natin sa offline world, di ba? Well, normally sa offline world, or deep sa, sa traditional um, work um, environment, meron din cover letter, but we normally just send our application or our resume, di ba? So dito sa online freelancing, we use cover letters to apply. Yan. Common mistakes when writing a cover letter, we will discuss that on week four. And last, um, how to best handle client interviews. So last um, webinar series, how to prepare for interviews, the power words and the scripts to appear confident. And kahit hindi siguro confident, hindi mahalatang kinakabahan because of the power words and the scripts that you will use. And then how to receive payments from online clients. Paano mo ba ma-receive? Kasi syempre sa traditional job, di ba, um, we have an ATM account or um, our company will give us a way or mostly ATM account, di ba? And then we will just withdraw the money from that. And then here, so online freelancing, we will receive the payment through um, different ways. So we will discuss that on week four. Okay, so the common scams and how to avoid them. Kasi ang daming scam online. So paano mo yan may iwasan? Okay, okay. Excited ba kayo sa mga topic na i-discuss natin, guys? Who's excited? Ayan. Siyempre, what's next? So after the week uh, four, tapos na yung four webinars, ano nang, what's, what's next for you, right? So we will also guide you. What's the next step? All right. So excited, sabi ni Jules Feliciano. Excited si Eti Gintu. Okay, though. So again, you will receive these two freebies from us, VA Bootcamp. The Certificate of Completion, signed by the trainer, of course, Jason Dulay, the founder of Virtual Assistant Bootcamp. Um, and the Freelancing Toolkit. So this is um, the checklist. Uh, and the guides for a new freelancer. Nandito yung pros and cons ng freelancing. Nandito yung summary ng buong um, Fast Track to Freelancing webinar series. Okay. Exciting topics. This will help us a lot. Sabi ni Zach. Yes. I hope so too. Ayan. Ready na. Okay, again, what is freelancing? Truths. Versus myth in online freelancing. Ito yung the topic natin tonight. What are the tools that you need to start? Um, that you need to start freelancing? And who are your clients? Um, ano ba ibig sabi ng client? Uh, for some, maybe it's not... Um, hindi ito yung kadalasan na term na ginagamit. Siguro ito yung pinakamadali is yung employer, di ba? So, sa uh, traditional job. And do I need perfect English to be a freelancer? Kailangan ba magaling ako mag-English? So, sasagutin natin yan tonight. Okay, let's start. What is freelancing? Now, simply put, freelancing refers to being self-employed. You do some work, you get paid for it. You can get paid by the hour, or you can also get paid by project. So, pwede lang siyang... Yung mga makeup artist, di ba? Si makeup artist, kumikita siya per person na minimakeup pa niya. So, the makeup artist, ito yung mga freelance makeup artist. Um, pumupunta sila sa bahay mo or sa 
let's say, sa mga events, sa mga wedding or birthdays, um, any event, di ba? Nandiyan si makeup artist to um, make you pretty. And then, you will pay for her services. His or her services. And then, this makeup artist doesn't have a boss. Kasi sa kanya yung um, business niya. Ang business niya is yung service niya, yung pag makeup niya. Right? So, this is the same for online freelancing. Ito nga lang, si makeup artist, offline freelancer siya. Another example, yung manghihilot. Diba? Si, um, yung mga manghihilot, they, um, they go to your house and then mamasage ka niya for one hour or two hours and then um, you're gonna pay I don't know, 350 pesos to 1,000 pesos, depending on the manghihilot, di ba? And then, sometimes, merong manghihilot na nagtatrabaho sa company, pero yung mga independent, ito yung mga freelancer kasi wala silang boss, di ba? Okay, so that's the same sa online. Um, Itra-translate lang natin siya sa online world. Ano yung mga services? Usually, mga graphic design, um admin assistants. So, yan yung mga binibigay na services ng online freelancers. Okay. And virtual assistant, blog writers, or graphic designers. These are the examples. Clear so far? Okay pa? I expect to become a six-digit earner, Ma'am Pinky. <laughs> si Jules. Um, I hope so too, Jules. As long as you work hard for it, you can achieve it. So, the truth and myth, myths in online freelancing, sabi nila, freelancers don't get paid well. So, um, let's address that first. Um, I think the, the don't get paid well and unstable medyo, ano sila, magkasama sila, no? Yung don't get paid well, I think in the beginning and the unstable part, in the beginning, it can be unstable. Diba? Kasi you're still learning how to become a freelancer. You're, you're still learning the skills. So, lahat naman ng trabaho may learning curve. Diba? Um, when, I was, uh, when I was an OFW, I worked in the airline industry. We had like two months of training. So, imagine that two months ng training. Tapos after that, punta na sa work, um, saba ka na, pero for the first few months, hindi mo pa alam yung ginagawa mo. I, I was a flight attendant before, and minsan nagkakamali ako ng binibigay sa passenger, kasi hindi ka pasanay. So it's the same thing sa freelancing, di ba? Um, once you start, um, you're still learning, may learning curve. So, definitely, yung income mo, baka maging unstable. Although, I know a few freelancers who um, earned a stable income from month one. So, it really depends on you as well kung, um, kung determined ka to learn as fast as you can. Okay, let's see. Si Marilu, a newbie here, thanks for all this very useful information. You're welcome, Marilu. So, meron din nagsasabi na freelancing is easy. Is it really easy? Or is it hard? Oh, yan, dalawa siya. Is easy. So, let's address the easy part. Um, easy daw kasi, type-type lang, and then, um, pag type ka lang, kikita ka na ng pera. Data entry lang, kikita ka na ng pera. Well, it's not exactly like that. Although, there are data entry jobs, but... Kasi usually yung mga data entry jobs, maliliit lang yung pay nun. So, um, maybe that's not the pay that you would want to receive. Water break. Ayan. So, it's not really that easy. Kasi you, you still need to study. You still need to learn kung paano ka magsisimula. Is, is freelancing hard? Um, mahirap ba siya? Kasi para lang ba to sa mga techie, sa mga social, sa mga magaling mag-English? Actually, it's not. Because um, even if hindi ka magaling mag-English, pwede ka naman maging 
um, freelancer. Because most of us Filipinos, um, marunong talagang mag-English compared to other nationalities. So as long as you can speak conversational English, you can do it. And you have to be super techie. Maybe you won't believe me. I am not that techie as well. You will see me here in front of you. I'm here. I'm doing a Facebook Live. But I don't do coding. Hindi ako marunong mag-code ng website. I can create a website, pero hindi ako marunong mag-code. Kasi ngayon, you don't need to um, become, to be so techy just so you can perform a single task. Kasi everything is figure out the ball. Nakukuyan kay Marie Forleo, di ba? So everything is, ano, pwede mong matutunan lahat. Especially with the guidance of freelancers in the Philippines Facebook group and the virtual assistant bootcamp and some YouTube channels as well. So you can always look for tutorials. So hindi naman siya ganun talaga kahirap. Nandiyan din ang YouTube, ay, nandiyan din ang Google. So lahat halos ng tanong mo masasagot ng internet. Right? Gusto ko talagang matuto. Sabi ni Cherry. So, um, yeah, take note of our lessons tonight. If you want to um, write down, jot down the um, webinar, go ahead. Ayan. Okay. Freelancing gives you freedom. Yes, this is true. This is true at least for me as well. Um, I used to be an OFW, so I was working abroad, away from my family. But now I'm here in my in my home with my family. So um, I have the freedom na dito ako magtatrabaho kung saan ko gusto. Or I can also leave the country whenever I want to, or I can travel because I own my time. But, but if you are... Um, if you have the freedom, you also have to have the self-discipline. Kasi hindi naman porket free ka na, you can, you can just go and watch multiple YouTube videos tonight or during your work time. Tapos yung client mo o yung employer mo online, hindi mo na nababantayin yung trabaho mo sa kanya. Ayan. So those are the truths and myths sa online freelancing. Gusto ko din maging magaling dito, sabi ni Leonel. My husband wanted to become a freelancer na rin. He's watching this webinar. Hello sa husband ni Miss Micaela Gamba Sensil. Okay. So, hello din, Miss Micaela. So, the important thing to um, think about is freelancing is a business. And you are the business owner. And your product is your skill. Diba si makeup artist, yung pag makeup niya, yung makeup skills niya, yun yung, ano niya, yung product niya. And siya yung owner ng skill na yun. And that's her business. Same thing here. So, treat your um, freelancing business as a business because it is a business. Sounds so redundant, but I just wanted to make it clear to everyone na hindi siya um, like the traditional work na yun nga, na may boss ka, and then um, you're treating yourself as an employee. Okay. Let's continue. Ano ba mga benefits ng mga online jobs? Number one, you can spend more time with your family. I've mentioned this earlier. So since you are going to be home most of the time, then you will spend more time with your family. Lack of choice. Joke, joke lang. Pero yeah, this is, this is amazing, di ba? Kasi especially for those OFWs na namimiss na nila yung family nila, then this is your chance to find a career where you can spend more time with your family. Even yung mga call center agents na night shift palagi, tapos pag uwi nila, um, umaga, di ba? Matutulog, pagising nila, matutulog na yung family nila, tapos sila naman papasok. Halos, hindi na sila nagkikita ng family members nila. So, maybe this can be for you if you, if you don't have enough time for your family. And, 
um, you can work according to your own schedule, especially when your um, when your online work has flexi time. Yeah. And then you won't have to waste time in traffic. Kasi hindi ka na mag-commute or hindi ka na mag-drive to your, um, to your work, to your company. Lalo na kung yung mga nagtatrabaho sa Makati, tapos nasa Cavite na Katira or sa Bulacan, tapos alam mo nagko-commute or nag-drive, sobrang hassle yon, di ba? So you don't have to waste time in traffic. Hindi mo na kailangan makipagsiksikan sa MRT araw-araw, makipagpalitan ng muka sa mga pasahero, at makipagtulakan sa bus na standing ov- ovation ha. So, yan yung mga benefits ng online jobs. Um, you can earn more as well. Kasi, kasi you will be paid in dollars. Um, and you can charge according to the rate you want. Yun. Another benefit Ito yung favorite ng karamihan actually kasi um, may mga nagtatanong, paano po pag hindi graduate ng college? Paano kung um, 44 years old na ako? Pwede pa ba ako dyan? Paano kung um, um, may disability ako? Pwede ba ako dyan? So, yun yung mga concern usually. And in here, age doesn't matter. Your client doesn't care kung um, 50 years old ka na, but as long as you can perform the task assigned to you, then you can become an online freelancer. And then gender doesn't matter as well. The, the, the client doesn't care um, whatever gender um, you, are, you, you have or you are. Um, male, female, or you're part of the LGBT community, walang discrimination. Saan po ba makakahanap ng client? Yan, um, we'll, we'll discuss that in this webinar series, Jolino. Okay, so college diploma is not needed as well. Um, to be honest, sa lahat ng mga naging client ko, wala pa ni isa na nagtanong kung may diploma Ba ako. And it's the same for all of my freelancer friends and all of the other coaches inside Virtual Assistant Bootcamp. I think um, 9 out of 10 times na magka- makaka-encounter ka ng um, client, they won't really ask for your diploma because ang concern lang nila is kaya mo ba silang tulungan sa business nila? Okay? So real talk. Ito real talk to. Hindi clients ang lalapit sa'yo. You have to work hard to get hired. So baka kasi it might sound very easy, no? Ang daming benefits. But you have to remember, you still have to hustle. You still have to work hard before you get one client and another client after that. Okay? Hindi pwedeng naka-cellphone lang kasi madalas tinatanong to. Pwede po bang naka-cellphone lang? Hindi po pwede. Well, pwede po kung nag-aaral pa lang po or nanonood pa lang po ng mga videos. Pero kapag nag-work ka na, kailangan may laptop ka na. Kasi you will need um, to create some some spreadsheets, ganyan. So mahirap din yun gawin sa laptop mo, di ba? Depending on the skill na i-offer mo, parang 9 out of 10 times, kailangan mo ng laptop. The only time na naisip ko lang na pwede kang naka-cellphone lang, is kapag writer ka. Kapag gri- freelance writer ka, all you need is probably a Bluetooth keyboard and then connect it to your uh, phone, smartphone, type in your blog article and then you can submit that blog article to your client, di ba? So via email sa phone mo din. So yun lang yung nakikita ko na pwede talaga na wala kang cellphone. But even as a writer, you will still want to have a laptop. So, kailangan na ka laptop. Okay. You can earn a lot, pero you'll have to work hard. Walang easy money sa mundo. Pag meron kayong na balitaan na may easy money, balitaan nyo naman ako. <laughs> Kasi wala talaga siya. You really have to um, work for it. Yeah. 
you will have to research and keep learning in this field. So if you are a lifelong learner, uh, then this is for you. If you like, if you love learning every single day, then freelancing can be for you. Because um, every day, you will research, earn another skill and another skill so that you will improve your um, your niche or your skill set and then you can charge higher. Ayan. Ito. Um, this is a question from Ana Marie Felicilda. But how can a newbie like me to have experience if nobody wants us to let us experience para ang bilis ma-hired pag galing ka sa call center? Um, ayan, Ana Marie, this is a question na para siyang ano de balloop um, gusto ko mag-apply pero yung yung client ang gusto naman niya is yung may experience na paano ako magkaka-experience kung yung client ay naman ako tanggapin di ba so paikot-ikot lang we we have um we have a tutorial about that like we're teaching how to how you can um get a client even without experience yan dito din sa webinar series na to Okay, you will have to research yeah, again and keep learning in this field. Next, let's compare freelancing versus corporate work. Okay. Is this the same as sa blogger? Um, you mean yung mga bloggers? Um, medyo different siya, but there are blog writers that can be one of the skill. Rosh. Okay, so freelancing versus corporate work. Freelancing has a freedom of time. Kasi, flexi time ka, no? Um, you will offer your skills. So, um, as long as you complete the task or the project, walang pakilam si client kung, um, kung anong oras ka nagtatrabaho. Is it morning? Is it at night? Or is it eight hours or four hours? It's up to you. But the only concern of the client is that you'll fin finish the job. Yon. So corporate work, it's different because it may specific shift, diba? Kung ang work mo is 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., then you have to work at 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And kung call center agent ka pa, maybe it can be like 2 a.m. to 11 a.m., diba? 3 a.m. to 12, yung mga ganyang night shift. So... That's the difference. So freelancing, you are your own boss because your business is your skill. So corporate work, you have to deal with with your boss, with your colleagues, with your um, with politics. So yeah, and then so freelancing you can work from home and you have more time with your family. So corporate work, in this na yung time mo para sa family mo na spend mo pa sa kanila maybe one to two hour na travel time and dun ka stuck in traffic imagine you're probably losing four hours in a day because going to work that's probably one to two hours and then coming back maybe one to two hours again diba? so that's a lot of time wasted and um growth opportunities so as so freelancing it's up to you how you will grow as long as you keep learning then you can always increase your rates you can um you can have more skills so ikaw ang bahala sa, sa career mo yun and then sa corporate work even if you work so hard it still depend depends doon sa company or sa boss mo diba kung mapopromote ka or not so you're you're often stuck in your position <laughs> politics through sabi ni Deb nakarelate <laughs> okay hustle is doing what you got to do to get to where you want to go so true Dea. okay all right so Ano ano ba yung mga tools na kailangan to start um, freelancing? What are the tools you need? Of course, you need a laptop or a computer, um, a desktop, and you need a stable internet. At least, I would say at least five Mbps. Some say it's 
to Mbps. But alam niyo naman dito sa Philippines, medyo hindi reliable yung internet service natin. So as much as you can, please get at least 5 Mbps. Hi, Joyce. Okay. So, sino-sino ba yung mga clients? Okay. This is an example. This story is an example ng online freelancing. So, ito yung drawing ni Jason. Ganda ng drawing ni Jason, no, guys? <laughs> Ayan. So, um, this is Linda. Ayan si Linda. At ito yung online story niya. Yung nasa tabi niya. Okay. Nakikita niyo ba ito? This one. Not sure if you can see my mouse. Ito. Si Linda, meron siyang online store. Tapos, sobrang galing ni Linda, dumami ng dumami yung customers niya. So, ayan, ang dami niyang customer, very popular na. So, ang dami nang nagtatanong sa Facebook, dami siyang inquiry. So, Linda is happy. Ayan, nakasmile si Linda. Ngayon, bakit tinawanan mo, Pink? Hindi naman ah. Tinatanong ko lang sila kung cute ba yung drawing mo. <laughs> ayan. So, ayan, madaming ano, customers, ba diba? So, ngayon, si Linda, meron siyang good problem. Ano ba yung good problem niya? Kailangan na niya ng tulong, ba diba? Kasi, sobrang dami na nang nag inquire Tapos si Linda, siya pa yung operate ng business niya, tapos siya pa nag-file ng tax niya. So, she can't handle all the things anymore sa business niya. So, she needs an assistant, and that could be you, the freelancer. You could be the virtual assistant that Linda is looking for. Ang ganda daw po ng drawing niyo, Sir Jason. Oh, yan, yeah, no, kinonfirm nila. Sabi ni Jenny, ganda daw. <laughs> okay, so... Clients are usually online business owners like Linda. They want to focus on the important parts of the business. So, yung growth, yung pag-skill. And this is where you come in. You will help Linda sa day-to-day -day operation ng business niya. So, kailangan niya mag-hire ng freelancer para may, may maitulong yung freelancer na yun sa, sa business niya. Sa iba't ibang area. It can be sa taxes. It can be sa, yun nga, pag-a-answer ng Facebook inquiries. It can be sa email. So, maraming pwedeng maitulong sa freelancer kay Linda or sa mga clients. Di pala ako nag-iisa sa pag-drawing ng stick, sabi ni Maria Jessa. <laughs> Yan. Di ka nag-iisa, may kasama ka, si Jason. <laughs> okay, so common needs. Ano ba yung mga common needs sa mga um, client? Diba? Re replying to chats, na mention ko to kanina. Um, replying to messages. Siyempre kung si Linda naman, sa dami na nang ginagawa niya, kaya niya pa bang sagutin yung thousands of customers every day? And then managing orders sa online store, sa Shopify, maybe dito sa atin, Shopee, Lazada, ba? Diba? So baka si client mo, meron siyang sariling... Um, Shopee store or Shopify store. So, ayan. Pwede mo siya matulungan. Um, you can also create logos or graphics. And, um, mind you, I'm not really that creative when it comes to graphics, but I am. I was able to create logos through, through Canva.com. So, marami ng mga tools ngayon online na kahit hindi ka magaling gumawa ng logo, you can create logos. Okay, so right yung social media blog post. Ayan, yung mga nakikita niyo sa social media, di ba? Minsan may mga, um, may mga ads. Even yung hindi mga ads, kahit yung mga posts lang na mga uh, Facebook pages, Instagram pages, ito yung mga um, sample no, no? writing social media post. Kailangan ba genuine ang mga softwares na gagamitin? Well, ideally, darn me, yes. Um... Although, syempre, meron mga iba, di ba, na as long as nagumagana okay na. But yeah, of course, to 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 pay the people na nag-create naman ng content na yun, ng software na yun, might as well get the, ano, the original. As if naman original lahat ng software ko. Joke lang. Pero yeah, yun. So, replying to emails. um Replying to emails. Yan. 
um, every day then para lang siyang replying to chats, di ba? Kasi time consuming din yan. So, um, mas maganda sana kung may nag-help kay Linda or kay client. Mainit na. Guys, I'm not sure kung maririnig nyo yung electric fan ko. So, let me know kung maingay siya. Okay, so, posting on Facebook. Um, creating office documents, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Power, PowerPoint, um, Microsoft Excel, or Google Spreadsheets. So, yan. <clears throat> Parang choppy ako. Choppy ba, guys? Di naman po, sabi ni Andrew. Di naman maingay yung fan. Okay. Mahina ang net ko, sabi ni Sherlyn. Oh. So, okay lang naman. Pwede mo naman i-replay, Sherlyn. Okay. So, yan yung mga examples ng mga kailangan ni client. So, the possibilities are endless. Kasi global to. Global yung pinag-uusapan natin dito. You can have clients in the US, in the UK, in whichever part of the world. Diba? Wherever. Kasi... Um, as long as yung client is kailangan ng freelancer, then you can um, help that person. So, kung taga US yung client mo, you can charge US dollars, di ba? I have clients from the US, Australia, and um, one from uh, UK. So, yeah, and GBP, Australian dollars, and US dollars, di ba? So, it's, it's really, really amazing that we are able to we have this opportunity today. How I wish I knew this before I went abroad. <laughs> so this is also the reason why you can earn dollars or even the same as your OFW salary without leaving the Philippines. And if you have internet at home, which most of us have, diba? Um, pwedeng pwede ka nang magtrabaho sa bahay mo. Spend time with your kids, with your parents, with your siblings. So, more time with family. All right, so the common question, why um, do, you, do I need to have um, perfect English? Do I need to speak perfect English to be a freelancer? Why you know speak English? So, sa totoo lang, you don't have to have like... Yung may mga twang-twang pa na perfect English pa na, alam mo yun, very native speaker. As long as you can read and understand English instructions, you are good to go. Because as long as you can execute the instructions and express yourself kay client, you can become a freelancer. Kung nagkakaintindihan naman kayo ni client, there's no reason why hindi mo magagawa yung task na ibibigay sa yun. All right. Do you have any questions, guys? Any questions, ba kayo? Any questions? Well, let's see. Let me check the comments. Um, kung may questions ba? I uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Wala ako makita ng questions, guys. Ah. Okay. Then I think if you, sh uh, may I request from your end to send this video to my messenger? I want to watch this video again. Thanks in advance. Then, um, I believe you should receive a message from our page, Virtual Assistant Bootcamp page. I may be wrong, but I believe every time we have a webinar, you should receive a messenger, uh, a message on messenger. So as long as you share this video, so please share this video, um, then. And let's see. May I go out? Can I go? May I, may I go out? So, sabi ni Rolando. Okay, where can I find clients? Um, hindi ko mabasa yung name mo, but we will discuss that. Um, yung where can I find clients? Dito sa next few weeks. So watch out for the next webinar series. So while I'm waiting for your questions, ito, i-discuss ko kung ano yung malalaman nyo sa week 2. This is gonna be on next Thursday, March 28. Yan, 7 p.m. ulit. 
So we will discover the skills that you can offer. What is this niche we keep hearing about? What skills can you offer to clients? How much you should charge clients? And what if you're not teching? And how to build your online portfolio, even if you have no experience. I think you where can I find clients? Week three to. Yeah. Pag VA po ba, kailangan same lang ang schedule ni client or okay lang to tell your client kung kailan ka available? Hmm. Sometimes, yung client, require niya na same kayo ng schedule, but um, if that's okay with you, then go for that um, for that gig or for that job. But in the, if you have kids, di ba? Mas gusto mo yung flexible. So, maghanap ka ng... Um, uh, online job na flexi time. So, okay lang yung kung kailan ka lang available. Can you help us find our first client? Rush, um, we can help you, guide you kung saan mo pwedeng mahanap yung mga client mo. Where, where can you find the clients? Ano yung mga platform na pwede mo puntahan? Although, you will still have to look for your first client as well, di ba? You have to be the one to apply and send your cover letters. Um, yes, mag-attendance, ano tayo, mag-attendance tayo, Jerome. Benta talaga yung may go out. Ayan. Pwede bang i-adjust sa 6 p.m. next week if it's okay? Let's see. Um, I think it's already scheduled, Jade. But you can watch the replay naman. Uh, and still fill out the attendance sheet to make sure that you will receive the certificate after the webinar series. March 28, 7 p.m. next webinar. Yes, Ace. Tama. Okay, so I invite you to join our Facebook group, Freelancers in the Philippines. I think we are at almost 93,000. Tama ba, Jerome? 93,000 na tayo inside Flip. And um, this is a community of the Filipino freelancers. So you might want to join us um, and learn from all the other um, people who are working from home. Yeah, and you can find friends inside. Watching from Malaysia, Sianna Lee. So in here is the our webinar series. We can only discuss the highlights in our weekly webinars. But if you want the step-by-step -step and the guided instructions, yung tipong talagang um, lahat yung nangilangan mong matutunan, it's there. You can check out our page or our website. It's vabootcamp.ph. Vabootcamp.ph. So there we have the step-by-step -step tutorial, everything you need to know to become a freelancer an online freelancer. Ayan, 93,386 to be exact yung members ng ating group. So, um, join our group. It's free. You can see um, all the guides um, that we have posted there and um, yeah, enjoy the journey of freelancing. Miss Pinky, kailangan ba 18 above ang age? I believe so, Jayan. Um, mas okay kung 18 legal age. Um, although I think meron mga students na nag-freelancing din, especially abroad. Dito sa Philippines, ang pinakabatang kilala ko is 19 years old. Um, so sa iba man sa, I believe, pag bago sila mag-college, nag-freelancing sila sa US, ganyan. So, you can check that out, Jan. If you, what are the nationalities of the clients? Iba iba, um, uh, American, British, um, even from Russia, from iba 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 talaga, um, Australian yun nga nabanggit ko kanina, even people from India, sobrang worldwide. So if you have signed NDA or non-disclosure agreement, consider na po ba yun na hired na? Ano difference ng contract and NDA? So Yung contract is ito yung agreement ni ni client na hired ka na. Okay? And dito din yung mga terms and conditions ni client. And kung ikaw yung gumawa ng contract, terms and conditions mo din. And then, yung NDA naman is ito yung confidentiality. 
So, most of the time, kapag pinapirma ka na ni, ND, ng, ni client ng NDA, usually hard ka na nun, di ba? Kasi pinapapirma ka na niya ng confidentiality. Ibig sabihin, uh, confidentiality agreement, um, may isi-share na siya sa yung mga information na uh, private sa company niya. So, that's why pinapapirma ka na niya. Pero yes, magkaiba sila. Okay. After po bang matapos namin tong webinar, pwede na po ba kami mag-start ng freelance jobs? Can you know, um, to be honest, yeah, you can. Um, like I said earlier, you can start na. You can look for jobs. Um, as long as you can, you feel that you are ready, you can do it. But if you think that you need more guidance, you can always check out our page, vabootcamp.ph. We have blog posts inside, and we also have a step-by-step guided instructions sa aming mga paid courses. And so this is the virtual assistant bootcamp. This is where you will learn the skills that you need to learn. And you have the community to support you in your journey. Aside from FLIP, meron tayong exclusive um, Facebook group for the students ng VA bootcamp. So kapag naging student ka ng VA bootcamp, meron kang extra support system. And then guides, questions, um, mga questions nyo, my answer about freelancing and more. Yeah. This is the website, babootcamp.ph. Okay, so what are the skills that you will learn inside? These are just some of the skills. Ito lang yung sa VA Bootcamp, sa Virtual Assistant course. So data entry, transcription, email management, internet research, office applications, social media management, schedule management, Ito yung um, pag-a-arrange ng schedule ni client sa calendar niya. Um, website update, yung pag-update ng WordPress website or maybe Shopify website or kung ano website ng client mo. Um, this one will teach you. We also have e-commerce management because e-commerce is really a thing right now. Even here in the Philippines, gamang-dama na natin yung transition from Offline to online, diba? Everything is going online now. We have Lazada. Wala namang Lazada before. And now we can just shop through our phone. No need to travel just to get your, um, I don't know, your your uh, mobile phone if you want to buy a new phone. Or even grocery, diba? You can even order groceries online sa Metro Mart. And what's the other one? Honest B. Diba? I always use that honest B. So you can, everything's going online na. So these are among Shopify stores, among Shopee stores. Ito e commerce yan. It's how to manage that. Search engine optimization or yung SEO. WordPress web design. Ito matututunan mo rin yung mga skills na yan. And email marketing, content writing bookkeeping sa mga uh, merong accounting background dyan. So, you can also learn how you can use that skill sa freelancing world. Facebook advertising. Nandito rin yan. So, some of the testimonials we have, um, Hanilet Davo is one of our students. She enrolled in the VA Bootcamp and she said, enrolling in the VA Bootcamp is my best investment so far. I got my first client in just two weeks because of what I learned from VA Bootcamp on sending proposals. I also love how the students' community works because everyone supports each other even after graduation. It's not just a community, but a one big family of freelancers. See, Princess Silva naman, she said, it's worth it. The only word I can think of when I hear JD's or Jason Dulay's VA Bootcamp. The only online course I highly recommend. As a nurse, I thought my skills will only be inside the four walls of the hospital. But the VA Bootcamp opened vast opportunities for me. I can now take care of my family while earning at the comfort of my own home. I now have the best of both worlds. So, um, see Princess, she used to be a nurse. And so, again, guys, you will receive the freelancing toolkit kapag perfect attendance kayo sa four-week na fast track fast track to freelancing webinar series na ito. 
and you will also receive a certificate of completion. So please fill out the attendance sheet. Go to vabootcamp.ph slash orange. Orange as in the color or the fruit. Okay, so vabootcamp.ph orange. So type ko yan. Dito. Or no, I will not type it para yung mga nag-replay. Panood nila towards the end. Okay, so... So thankful for my VAB family. I learned so much from the boot camp. Thank you. Thank you, Maurice. Yeah, and how do you start a freelancing business through bookkeeping? Yes, pwede siya. Yan yung mga isa sa mga skills. So, um, like I said earlier, mga highlights yung mga uh, discuss natin. But we will discuss the skills in the next um, coming weeks. So watch out for that, Danica. Um, please attend the other webinar um, videos. Yan. Every Thursday, um, 7 p.m. Okay, guys. So, let me stop my screen. Okay, so do you have any more questions, guys, before I leave you and say goodnight to everyone? Many thanks for this webinar videos. Sabi ni Alma. Welcome, Alma. Um, sige, answer natin yung, yung mga questions. Balikan pa natin. Yan. VABootcamp.ph slash orange. P slash jade. Are there fees to join VA Bootcamp? Well, this this webinar that we have, this is totally free. You're not, you don't have to pay for this. Even the, the other three webinars that you have to attend, um, in the next coming weeks, yung four Thursdays na to, it's totally free. You will receive a certificate. Now, if you want to um, enroll sa vebootcamp.ph, yung step-by-step -step guidance, then we do have um, paid courses. You can check the website. May replay po ba ito? Medyo naglolo ko ang net namin kaya hindi ko nasundan lahat-lahat. Yes, blue meron. Please, um, Check out the replay later. F. Once I end your video, you will see the replay. I'm I'm late. Meron po bang replay? Yes, meron. Mirabilla. Mirabilia. Okay. So, any other questions? Paano malalaman na skilled na isang freelancer? Or depende po ba ito sa hindi o matututo na naman ito sa BA bootcamp? Um, Arlene, sobrang daming nga naman ng skill online, no? So, minsan nakakalito kung ano ba yung skill na i-offer mo. Usually, we um, advise that we you start as a virtual assistant. At ito yung tinuturo namin. We have yung mga data entry, email management, uh, calendar management. I mentioned ko to kanina. And um, um, you will learn that from VA Bootcamp, yes. And plus, depende rin sa hilig mo. Eventually, you'll find out kung saan yung strength mo or uh, kung saan ka mas magaling and then eventually can focus on that skill. I hope that answers your question, Arlene. How does one find clients? So, marami tayong mga platforms, no? Um, Nandiyan si Upwork, si onlinejobs.ph, si freelancer.com. Dito natin mahanap yung mga clients online. Even sa facebook.com, mayroon mga clients. So, um, dun sa unang mga binanggit ko, Upwork, onlinejobs.ph, uh, freelancer.com, guru.com. Ito yung mga tinatawag na freelancer um, platforms. Dito ka makakahanap ng client. Dito ka mag apply So, sa so mga susunod na webinar, we will go in-depth dyan. Pag-usapan din natin yan. Okay. Can we attach the certificate sa application? Yes, of course, you can use the certificate of completion na nag-attend ka ng um, fast track to freelancing. Paano po maka-avail ng freelancer kit at certificate? Pag na-attendan mo, Ami, yung apat na webinar natin. Itong first, getting started with freelancing today, day one. And then day two would be next week. Thursday, 7 p.m. And then the third one is the week after next Thursday then. That's going to be 7 p.m. as well. So April 4 and then April 11, yung last na webinar. 
Ayan, done na si Joyce. Nag-submit na siya sa attendance. Ayan, sino yung hindi nag-attendance? Um, absent. So, dapat mag ano mag <laughs> kumirma kayo ng attendance, guys. Alright, so again, bebootcamp.ph slash orange. Okay, guys, I think um, it's already 8 p.m. Thank you so much for joining me tonight and for giving time. Um, I hope you learned a lot. And um, next week, Kani will be the one to discuss the, the skills in uh, online financing. All right, watch out for that. Bye-bye. Good night.